Let's now talk aviation because over the weekend, a video circulated on social media regarding some 50 passengers traveling British Airways who were left stranded at the Kotaka International Airport. According to these passengers, the airline had canceled flights and directed them to reschedule without prior notice. The reason, a shutdown of their system. Take a listen. If I was come from Bogatanga, where, where would I spend the night? It's not right. They will provide a hotel, don't worry. You have to provide the hotel. Yeah, yeah. I think you should be providing a, 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 place, a place for accommodation. This is not right. You see why people carry guns? That's why people just. Huh? You see why people carry guns? I'm annoyed here. I'm yes. telling you. You see why people carry guns? That's just not right. This is rubbish. Yeah, so where am I going to sleep? Where, where are we going to sleep? Where are we going to sleep? Where are we going to huh? sleep? Let me know where am I going. Your district manager should be here. So the district manager should be here. Oh, they should be here. The hotel, yes, right? the they, should be here. <coughs> they should be here explaining. You mean the next flight is tomorrow evening, eh? I'm gonna say that make good to money. You know where I'm coming from and I'm standing here. Eh? Well, we have sent word to the Civil Aviation Authority on this development and the same, an investigation is currently ongoing. But the question we're asking, who, who puts the airlines in check? Plus, what does our air passenger rights say about these issues? Of course, Sean Mendes is an aviation expert and joins us via Zoom. Sean, we're so grateful that you could join us. What should be the positioning of the Civil Aviation Authority on this clip that you just saw? Well, first of all, thanks for having me, Charles. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's actually quite distressing to see that clip because, of course, first of all, the passengers' uh, travel has been disrupted. But it also seems that the airline and the passengers themselves have not educated themselves on the rights that they already have. In Ghana, air passenger rights are governed by the GCA Civil Aviation Economic Directives of 2019 which is actually a very comprehensive and effective set of regulations by which airlines have certain uh, obligations in terms of what they must provide passengers on both domestic and international flights in case of delays, of cancellations, denied boardings due to oversold flights, lost baggage, and so forth. So in a case like this, where it seems that the passengers were uh, delayed overnight, the airline would be responsible to provide them at a minimum hotel and depending upon the reason for the cancellation, if it was something within the airline's control, then they would need to pay them compensation. If it is something outside the airline's control, then they wouldn't need to pay the compensation necessarily, but they would still be responsible for ensuring that they were rebooked at the earliest opportunity and they were provided with refreshments, meals and accommodation until they could be provided an alternative flight. So I think, you know, the passengers seem to be unaware of what their rights were, and this is unfortunate. Interesting. So help us understand, what exactly do the Act say when it comes to passenger rights in Ghana? Well, the, 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 the directives are actually a very long and complicated thing. But, you know, as a very brief summary, if you are on a flight that is departing from Ghana, uh, if it is domestic and your flight is delayed, at one hour you are entitled, the airline has to provide you with water, uh, at two hours, they have to provide you with refreshments and choice then of either a refund or rebooking or continuing to wait for the flight. If the delay is overnight, they must provide you with hotel. If it is an international flight, similar regulations apply. The timelines are a little longer. They don't have to provide you hotel unless the delay is at least six hours. Uh, if the flight is cancelled on a domestic flight, again, for a non-covered reason, so if the cancellation is due to weather or, you know, flight safety or something as such, which is outside the airline's control, then certainly, you know, they don't have to pay compensation. But if it's within the airline's control on domestic flights, you can claim compensation of 60 US dollars equivalent in CDs for a domestic flight. And on international flights, you're entitled to compensation depending on the distance of the flight between 200 to 600 dollars. 
So that is the situation, you know, if you're departing from a point in Ghana. If you are, however, flying on an airline that is registered in the EU or the UK, there are similar rules over there. In the EU, it's called EU 261-2004 is the uh, name of the regulation. In the UK now with Brexit, it's the same regulation, but called UK 261. And similarly, if you are on British Airways and your flight is delayed by more than three hours for a reason within British Airways is controlled, you can claim compensation of 600 euros or 520 pounds from that. And this is something that passengers need to be aware of because this is your entitlement. Indeed. So, I mean, passengers have barely any information about their rights. Airlines also, they may have, but are not really affecting them. How does this affect customer relations within the, you know, the aviation space? Well, I think, you know, it's important, I think, even for airlines to acknowledge that an educated consumer is a good consumer. Because, you know, speaking from my experience, uh, you know, running airlines, there are regularly passengers who come up and make claims for something that genuinely the airline could not control. You know, there's bad weather, your flight is canceled, the airline cannot do anything. You exactly. cannot come in and say, give me a thousand dollars compensation and so forth. You're not entitled to it. But on the flip side, when you are entitled to the compensation, there should be an open and shut case of, you know, you don't ha shouldn't have to plead your case. The airline's not doing you a favor. If you are entitled to something, and this is something that is an entitlement, it is the law of the land as propagated by GCA, you should be able to claim, yes, delay of this period, I'm entitled to this, give it to me, and the airline in their part should also be willing to comply with what the regulation says. And this goes for delays, cancellations, denied boarding, lost baggage, everything. Sean, we're so grateful for this information. And of course, as always, we're grateful for your input as well. He's an aviation expert helping us understand matters regarding passenger rights.